During a panel discussion on pesticides, pathogens and preservatives hosted by the Cropper Foundation, technical experts weighed in on the importance of accountability when it comes to food safety. One senior lecturer of soil science at the University of the West Indies explained how pathogens get into our food. In our farming system, uh, generally it would come from untreated sources of either uh, water, irrigation water use, or uh, amendments uh, such as our manuals that we bring into our system. And you could only imagine uh, what would happen when we use those inputs, particularly in food crops that are consumed in a raw state. Food technologist at Kariri, Mrs. Sharon Peart rose also sought to clear up some misconceptions surrounding preservatives. While they preserve the quality of food, they do not prevent bacteria from growing. So if you start out with foods that are high in bacteria, high in viruses, high in all the pathogens, preservatives cannot make the food better. What they, what they will do is they will cause what is in the food to grow more slowly. So sometimes too, the food, is, the microbes do not actually stop growing. But she said Trinidad and Tobago has laws to regulate the use of preservatives in food, such as the Food and Drug Act. Similarly, the Ministry of Health has a department that regulates pesticides, particularly those that are imported. We look at um, things like the importation of them, the importer must be um, licensed to do, um, to do so. The particular pesticide must also acquire um, a particular import license before the importer is allowed to import it into the country. Right? Um, and prior to all of that, the item must first be registered by the Pesticides and Toxic Chemical Control Board. The Safe Food Campaign seeks to analyze food safety using sustainable, accountable, factual and eco-friendly methods. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.